Good morning, guys. Myself, Abhishek from Highly Technology Jaipur. Uh, so, today I am here to discuss about the smart board system. So, let's start with the hardware first. So, uh, first you can see here this is a smart interactive board. And with this, we, uh, there are two, two main components uh, are also available, which are smart projectors and another one is uh, its hanging kit. You can see here. So it is typically mounted on the wall. You can also hang it to the wall. Now we will come on to the software part. So first uh, we have a software for the calibration. Okay, so uh, this software is basically used for the software to expose the band on the application and other application tokens. That's why uh, this software is necessary whenever you start your system. You just have to do it once. Okay. Uh, and one thing I would like to tell you that you can connect these uh, these uh, interactive whiteboard and projectors to the uh, CPU. You can connect it with the USB cable and for the projector you can connect it with the VGA cable. So now we will come on our software which is whiteboard. Basically it is a teaching software. Uh, so you have all the tools for the teaching purpose. And this is our floating toolbar which contains all the tools in it. Okay. And so now we will start with the normal pen. So whenever you want to uh, write on this board, on this white page, you can write it here. And also you can change your uh, colors as well as your width of the text. Whatever you want to write, you can change it accordingly. Now, okay. So now we have uh, one more option. I would like to show you. If you uh, if you want to insert any of your pictures in the on the on background of this page. You can add from here. You just have to select this white page option, and from here you can insert your any of your pictures. Like we have some sample pictures, and like this picture, I would like to insert at the background. So now this is uh, on our background, okay? And you can work on this background here, like normally you. I think you want to write here. Like this, you can work on this background also. And uh, one more feature I would like to tell you that uh, this software provides you 12,000 graphics images. Uh, you can use as your subject wise. Like uh, if I want to show some history, uh, historical people. So these are the uh, graphics images and if you want to, so you just have to drag and drop here. Okay. And you can annotate it and you can elaborate to the trend. So you are all the tools from here. You can select any of your pens. And one more feature is the software provides us that uh, if your page is still like this and it's, uh, still you want to work on this current slide, so you can select your hand tool and you can move this page anywhere. Okay, and you can do work from uh, ahead. <coughs> okay, so now we will uh, move to our next option. So now we will move to our next option for inserting of a video. You can select it from here. Okay, any video you want to uh, insert here and you want to annotate it. Like we will select it uh, sample video. We just have to select some media here. And the video will automatically play on our software. This is why If you want to annotate, like you want to uh, explain 
saying that what type of animal is this event, you just have to select this uh, annotation option, and after that, you can select your pen. Okay, then you can keep annotate on this video uh, section. Okay, I guess. And if you want to resume your video again, you just have to select this cursor. And okay, now we can play our video again. Okay. Like this. Now I would like to show you one impact and a benefit for this software that you can easily annotate to your background applications also. Like suppose we have some PDF on our background, like we have an English PDF and we want to show this uh, on this one. You want to explain this to your students, you just have to uh, select screen annotation option from here and it will automatically access to your background application whatever it will uh, there open and you can easily uh, annotate from here you just have to select and and change your size of the text. So like this you can easily annotate on the background applications also. So now I would like to tell you that uh, uh, this software provides you some uh, subject wise tools also. Like uh, it gave us four subject wise tools. One is for mathematics and chemistry and physics and English also. So we will start with the uh, physics. Okay. So here we select physics tool and and a uh, tool bar is open here. So it shows some uh, physics tools which are commonly used in our exams and syllabus. <laughs> like this. You just select that option and drag here. Automatically the uh, option is open here. Okay. And you can easily annotate it and help in the explanation of your uh, particular subject. And one more uh, best feature for this software is that uh, like to suppose you have some uh, quiz type options here or uh, as we have PDF. So you you, uh, you just want to show upper part of this PDF. You don't want to show lower part. Then you can select this certain option. You can hide half of this PDF like this, and you can easily show upper part only. Okay, and also you can, if you want to uh, add some colors on this curtain, you can add from here. So it will make some interesting look to the board. So everyone will focus on this particular board and it will become interesting also. Similarly, uh, as I uh, show you the curtain option, it also gives us a spotlight option. It basically helps to show up a particular area which we want to show here. Like, uh, I want to show only this particular area and all of the students should be focused on this area. So, this uh, spotlight is very useful here. You can move it and you can decide this also. So you can resize uh, the surface area of this focus area like this. You can select the red line, okay, and you can select the area according to your need. If you want to exit from here, you can create on this, okay. So now I would like to show you some uh, best and some best feature for this that uh, it has screen recording option available here. Uh, it will record your whole screen. Whatever you you will do on this particular screen, it will automatically record by selecting this option. And also, if your uh, audio device is connected to your uh, computer, it will also record your audio with the screen. Okay. And 
and you can uh, it depends on the <coughs> So uh, I will actually tell you that this software also gives us an option uh, for export from the files. You can export your files in different formats according to your need. That if you want to export it in which file, you can export it to here. Uh, PPT exportation, PDF exportation, HTML, whatever you, you need to export, you can select the format from here and the file will automatically generate in that particular format. Okay. And uh, if you want to save this file in your particular this software format, okay, so you can whenever you select and you, you store this software, it will automatically open the portal here. You have to select yes and it will ask a part. So you can save the format, save the file in this format also. So thanks for thanks for discussing this hardware solution.